And on this Easter Sunday, we say hello, Canada, and welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Ford Women's World Curling Championships from Vernon, B.C. We're at the Multiplex, Canada and the Czech Republic in draw four, but a game two for Team Canada, Jennifer Jones and her team from the St. Vital in Winnipeg. Vic Rutter along with uh, Linda Moore, Ray Turnbull, Kathy Gauthier as we play in the second. Czech Republic had the hammer in the first and scored one as we play now here in the second. Team Canada playing the Redstones and they do have the hammer. Well, kind of a different first end, uh, Linda, wasn't it? Uh, Czech Republic threw the first rock, or Jennifer threw the first rock in. They just exchanged stones the whole, the whole way. And I'm not sure if she was trying to blanket or not. She I think they were. The rock okay. was just half in the front of the rings belonging to Canada. And rather than nosing it to get the blank, the Czech Republic rolled in, and that was the single. This end, there was a couple of very good shots played. In particular, there has just been a great hit and roll by Canada to get dead behind a corner guard. Yeah, this end is setting up very well for Jennifer Jones. She's got the hammer, she's got one rock buried, and, and there's a rock at the back of the 12 foot, about seven o'clock, and I'm not, I think it's second okay. shot. What do you think? I, I think it's second shot, maybe not. They're looking at it now. Well, or we could hit play well, three. Well, I don't know where that other one is now. It's out, I think it's out of the house. I would guess this! Okay, there's the, uh, Jennifer established it for us that uh, they are not okay. second shot, they're third half. shot, okay. so they'll hit to try and lie three. Actually was a nice shot by the Czech Republic getting in behind the guard first, but then a mistake on a hit by the Czech Republic has led to this situation. And here's the hit to sit three. Nice hit by Kathy. Nice control weight. Yeah, that's uh, so key to this kind of an ice surface. The ice, by the way, has been terrific. Fair amount of curl. Three and a half to four feet, or four feet actually coming into the center. Three and a half to four feet going to the wings. And it'll start to curl as we move through the game a bit. Then near the end of the game, that usually straightens out a little bit. But we'll see. We're playing third stones here in the second. This is the uh, Czech Republic third. This is Lenka Chernovska. It's an all-rookie team out of the uh, Dion Curling Club in Prague. The... Uh, they sort of switch the skipping here, right? Today it is Katharina Urbanova. Kathy, uh, why the switch? Well, I spoke to Lenka before the game. She is the young woman we just saw throw that actually called the game yesterday. Their team decision was she is the most nervous out of all of them. She said she was nervous yesterday because it was their first, but she was very, very nervous oh. about playing Canada. And even no though Katarina prefers to sweep to get weight. They felt it was in the best interest of the team to put the steadiest nerves at the helm. That's always a good idea, Kathy. It's the sole reason why I didn't skip. <laughs> but it does put extra pressure on the person who's not used to skipping and throwing last, so Katarina will have the double duty today. We'll see how she manages that under the pressure of playing Canada in Canada. That's a good point, Linda, but it, sometimes it because of the inexperience of these teams, it may be better that the, that the third is, is calling the shots and, and throwing, uh, throwing. I'm not calling the shots, but throwing uh, last and not having to, to add that other responsibility. But obviously this young, uh, who was the last rock thrower yesterday is now the skip. We had to change all our notes. <laughs> <laughs> Katarina Urbanova, these, this team played in uh, two bond spiels in Switzerland in preparation this year. They qualified in they one and missed the qualification in the other. But unlike the uh, Japanese, for example, who have... Uh, come to Canada and taken up residence in Canada. The, uh, this is the first time to uh, our country for the Czech Republic team. I think we just draw around regardless. This is like yellow to me, but yeah, I like to draw like, around. Well, we do that, she draws up there. 
Ten. Here's a corner guard out in front, and you heard Jen's comment. We're just going to come around into that area there, right behind the corner guard. They were looking at the back two rocks and think that perhaps the yellow rock is shot, around. second shot over the other biter. But if you happen to try and go back and tap the yellow one out and sit three, there is space to get around that corner and perhaps take the end away. You can see how close those two are. So even if you were thinking that there is a need to play a tap, you would not do it now. You come in first, protect the come around, and if you have a chance, you do the tap on your last. Good call by Jennifer. A little hot. Room. Back eight. Go, go back, back in. If it's back eight, go back. We still back? Yeah. yeah. Go. You got to go This is line. plan B now. Go. Hard. Go, John. Go. Hard. Keep on it. Keep on it. Keep on it. Keep on it. Good uh, shot. Boy, it's close. That's not a good shot, though. That's, it's, uh, she was trying to play around the corner guard, so she just uh, threw it too hard. Good shot. <laughs> This young team from the Czech Republic were impressive in their first start, first game against Germany, and a very experienced Andrea Schaaf. The game went to an extra end, and we were impressed with the, w the way Lenka and her team called the extra end, trying to steal it away. Made almost a perfect freeze on the last shot, and Andrea had to make a great shot to win. The point about the rocks in play, though, is important. You see this end, it has taken this young team out of their comfort zone with this many rocks in play. This is a very pressure-filled come-around draw for this last thrower. With most of the teams here, I really think it's, uh, it, of course, it, it is Jennifer's game plan on a regular basis to keep lots of rocks in play and play a lot of come-arounds and soft tap-back shots. So it, that's going to work for her advantage here. Uh, there are a lot of inexperienced teams here, teams that do not like to play that way and get a little confused when they do. That must have been a hog line violation. They're stopping the rock. So now a good look for the uh, Canadians to see, in fact, uh, boy, I guess you could possibly pick up a, f a four spot here, could you not? Yeah. I think you sure could, Dick. I think it's red. Well, you have to think that's a little bit of the pressure. Hanging on too long, trying to make the perfect throw. And you have to let go of the handle prior to the fr front edge of the stone reaching oh yeah, that hog line. Otherwise, yeah. the red lights come on, and she knew it right away. No, I think they're both reds. Oh, red, that's my. Excuse me. Why the uh, hesitation here? Well, she thinks that they're the trying to establish shot. whether they're uh, line uh, three or like line just, just two. Well, unless you guys are pretty sure. We just play the same it. shot. That's, yeah, we had. If you're not sure, she's going to draw down to it, try and tap it back. Are you positive? 90, 95. I'm pretty sure we're lying three, but but we'll uh, I'll just kind of throw a similar weight, and we'll just sweep it a little early. We just have to touch it. Get in. Sure. Yeah. Go. Well, I think Linda's right on. I just think that's nervousness, and she just hung on to that rock so long, and attempt to play a quiet come around and try and cut the end down and hog line veil violation there's and they're crystal clear with these eye in the sky handles a little more close yep Whoa. that red light comes back on line. that is it yep whoa back line hog. no eye eye through. Hog, through. No. handles they call them line's good yep whoa 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 Little tap here. Hold on, though, and okay. she'll okay. lose the shooter, but it's a definite three now for Canada here in the second. Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, everyone, from all of us at TSN. Welcome back to the multiplex here in Vernon. Team Canada on the ice against the Czech Republic and leading 3-1 as we... 
Meet the teams. Hi, we're Team Canada, and I'm Skip Jennifer Jones. Third is Kathy O. Second is Jill Officer. Lead is Don Askin, and our alternate is Jennifer Clark Ruir. Hi, we are Team Czech Republic. My name is Katarzyna Urbanová, and I'm a skip of the team. My third is Lenka Černovská. My second is Jana Šafaříková. My lead is Sara Jahodová. And the alternate, she is Jana Šimerová. Take it away, Victor. It is the Czech Republic <laughs> <laughs> that have the hammer here in the third. <laughs> and they are playing the yellow stones. Thank you very much. It'll be the Czech Republic lead and the Czech yeah. Republic second. And the <laughs> So we talk about teams and their strengths and weaknesses and definitely this very young team from Prague show a lot of promise if you think that this is their first appearance at a world championship they qualified through the Europeans and it's a very new experience for them to play in this kind of big environment with lots of people watching on television and it definitely was what showed up in that second end they can throw the rock quite well but under pressure that's when you see the mistakes. Kathy? Well, and one of the things you talk about, Linda, with this young team is their commitment. The lead that we just saw throw Sarah actually lives in London and commutes as often as she can. This is not a sponsored team. They pay their own way, but that's what she's decided to do if she wants to compete. She views absolutely these are the best young women in the Czech Republic, and to be a part of it, they put their money on the line. That's impressive, Kathy. And, and for our viewers, uh, the oldest on the team, there's two 23-year-olds and two 22-year-olds. So, I mean, this is a very, very young team. Sorry. You're good. And it's interesting, as I mentioned, about the mental side of the game. The team looked very good against Germany yesterday. In the European Championships, they play off in an eight pool to see which teams will come to this World Championship. The top eight teams make it. They did beat Andrea Schopp in those European championships. So I think yesterday would have been comfortable in many ways for them. An open style of game that I think was a mistake by Germany, and the game was very close, and also they had beaten her once. It's totally different facing Canada today. Yeah, there's no question they're intimidated today. They are. Their system, too, is different. I mean, just the number of curlers they have. They, they have what they call the extra lead which would be akin to the A flight in any of our clubs. And there probably are eight women's teams that play in that extra. And then the rest of the country is divided into one and two divisions, which would be your B and C flights. For Canada, one of the things we mentioned, we thought uh, Germany made a mistake playing it open. Jennifer is showing, in my opinion, great game planning in the first game. Canada got a deuce in the first end and then defended. In this game, it was clear Canada tried to force the single when the Czech Republic had the hammer and won, and then went all out to get their deuce, got three, as a matter of fact, in the last end. I think this is perfect planning now. Defense is back in play. And a very nice hit and roll there. Beautiful. The press is really just uh, apologizing for not communicating a little bit better than they, than they normally do because uh, that was down a bit and uh, Jennifer was calling them off when in actual fact she didn't realize that weight was down a bit. Those are important things and against the good teams, you can't make those mistakes. Let's update you on the other games on the ice as they just fail to make the double, pushing the stone to the back 12. On she day in a battle of mountain villagers, it's Davos, Switzerland, and Garmisch, Germany, 3-3. The USA and Debbie McCormick, Ford world, former world champion with an early lead on Italy, and Diana Gaspari. And Denmark against Japan, and the Japanese have the lead there. The buys in this draw belong to China, who earlier today won their second in a row. They stole the win against Russia. They are 2-0. The Russians are 0 and 2. Scotland and Sweden are both 1 and 1. Line's perfect. Line's absolutely perfect. Make it good. 
It's very early in this world championship, but again, the draw earlier today showed a lot of variation from the first day to the second day as far as shot making goes. And one thing Canada has to be careful about when you see one team on one day play well and the next day not, you cannot have your skills bounce around. Canada looks very focused and that's what they have to do. Focus on making one shot at a time. Don't worry about the opposition and their shot making of that day. And the big mistake that Germany made yesterday in the game that went an extra end, and uh, Andrea Schwab made a great shot to win it in the extra end, but uh, the mistake that they made, as you mentioned already, Linda, was that they let them play up and down for four or five ends. But then when they did try to close the game up a little bit, they were heavy all the time, just that little bit heavy all the time, and so the Rocks ended up behind the tee line, and this Czech Republic team made a lot of great come around and freezes, which kept uh, big ends away from uh, and Andrea. And uh, that'll be the same pattern here. The Canada's got to be careful to keep the rocks in front of the tee line so that it's just not a draw. All of a sudden, it becomes a back 12-foot or light hack weight shot. Linda already has a stopwatch out, so let's check the ice times. They're brought to you by the Strauss Herb Company. Trust the tradition. We measure between the hog lines, and draw weight is 14 and a half seconds. That rock top 12 timed at just over 15. That's why it stopped where it did. Guards are 16 and a half and hits 9 and a half. And as Ray mentioned, a lot of problems so far is rock sliding deep on draws. Because it is fast, brushing has a huge impact. You can really drag the rock a long way. And when you step up the weight a little bit, you get, uh, they'll run fairly straight, as we just uh, saw. But you picked off out the back one. Yeah. Nice. They're actually using discussions about how fast it was at the Scotties to relate to the ice here. Same ice maker, David Merklinger and his crew have put another great surface on the foundation here. It's a nice center. Good. Line's real good. Line's really good. Jennifer's Hi, numbers bro. from the first game were terrific. Hi, In particular, she finished the game Line's very perfect. well, especially with her hits. Whoa, very accurate late oh. game with those run backs and hits. But it's tighter. Whoa, whoa, it's there. whoa, whoa. whoa. It's too much. whoa. Well, there's a little hole there. Oh, oh great weight, Yeah. Great yeah, also One of the things we have seen teams start to do that we did see at the Scotties and the Briar, and that is play guards to cross center because of the curl. Sometimes you really keep going wider and wider and end up curling past the spot anyway. So that's something Jennifer might consider. Yeah, it must finish better. A little bit of life here. The hole is there to get through. Should be a big boost to this young lady. Trying to find the hole with her first. So close. You want to be in? It looked again like she hung on just a tiny bit too long to the release and came over the top, putting it outside in, which makes it curl faster. Otherwise, I think the body line was quite good and the weight was terrific. 
Well, I was saying to you, Linda, that and as Kathy mentioned about this team, you know, they pay their own way. They spent the first part of their season before they played any game just working on technique, making sure they were sliding straight, making sure that they were, you know, their releases. And uh, then they started playing some games. Well, we see, we see uh, <coughs> terrific mechanics among a lot of these new countries. They do get uh, solid instruction and they come to the events uh, with pretty solid mechanics. It's the in-between shots, the in-between weight, uh, the up weight and shots of that nature that they, uh, they haven't got around to really understanding yet. Might equate it to a, uh, a golfer, a full wedge as compared to a half wedge. But it's those in-between shots that yep. even the pros have trouble with. Yep. But, uh, it's something they work on hard. That's a nice shot, though. To lie two without here in the third. That's real good. That's good, yeah. Yeah, that's real good. Probably perfect. That's that's a deeper. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually think, when it, um, when it curls. I think my first one is finishing more. So just so you... Oh, okay. Anyway, just so you know. That's real good. Great. I don't know if you can get there. That was a great shot. That does not leave very much for this very young skip. The nose is there, but boy, is it tough. It, and it's, you gotta be absolutely perfect here. Nose will give you the double. Katarina Urbanova. It's going to be a steal of two for Canada here in the third. So as Linda, Linda mentioned, Ray mentioned, rocks in play, throwing the Czech Republic off their game. 2008 Ford World Women's Curling Championship on TSN is brought to you by Ford, powered by you. Ford World Women's Curling Championship on TSN is brought to you by Kruger Products, proud sponsor of women's curling for over 27 years, by Tim Horton's new slow roast beef sandwich, and by Strauss Herb Company, trust the tradition. What a game, Switzerland and Germany. The Germans opened with three. They had the hammer. Miriam Ott responded with three. Kathy, they're playing the third now. Well, and Andrea Schaub has only the hit angle on the stone that she threw on the first one, facing three. And moves on up to score the single, the 88 world champion, Andrea Schaub. 15th appearance out of Garmisch Partenkirchen as we welcome you back to the multiplex here in Vernon. As we go to the fourth, Canada scores three with the hammer, steals two, they're up 5-1. Czech Republic playing the Yellowstones with the hammer here in four. The straight peel? Yep. After that end in, uh, on sheet A with uh, Switzerland and Germany, uh, Andrea Schopp and uh, Monica gathered the front end together and they had a little lecture they gave their front end a little uh a little uh, Real hard. how would i say this nicely a little bit of a good, talking to i guess there was a, too many rocks in play and i guess a few misses and uh, andrea is not one to hold back well in this game really good thought process by the czech republic they had a rock go in by Canada, and they knew they should not hit it because they've fallen behind in this game. However, the guard they tried to play on Leeds' first rock slid into the ring, so that meant Canada could hit it. So a good thought, but the execution wasn't there, and now we've seen an exchange of hits. And if you see the scoreboard in the background, this is the perfect start for Canada. As I mentioned, I think they should be 
higher risk to start the game and then start to defend, and that's exactly what they can do now. Yeah, you can really sense that the young girls from the Czech Republic are really, really nervous. They would love to keep this close. They were. And granted, it is also great experience for them. If you think how young they are and how they have not played in very many championship games, it's, it's great for them to be able to be out there and make as many shots as they can in this very, very difficult situation playing in Canada. Officer, and just may have lost the shooter. You can see how technically they are very sound. Probably Yana with one of the best deliveries. She's high, but comes out with a nice straight body line and a good release. And we talk about rotation. She actually gives the rock quite a bit of rotation. And it has a very true path coming down the ice because of it. You can sweep this, just tuck around behind it now if you can. That's an experience right there. It was gonna be heavy, so you should have just Swept it and got around behind it a bit. Throw here. Kathy. Kathy, let's update the United States and Italy as they play in the third final stone for Italy's Diana Gaspari. Well, the last four stones, Vic, have been a lot about protecting, in this case, Italy from scoring two. The U.S. content to try to force the one. This is the big wide in turn. The question is whether it will curl enough to get to the lid for two. Not enough. One it is to tie it. One one. Lenka Chernovska throwing the third stone. Trying the freeze again. And Lenka Chernovska is just a little bit light and it overcurls a tiny amount. Anything you can do. <laughs> 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 Just curled a little perfect weight, and it just curled a little too much. Clean. Yep, yep. Whoa. Clean. No. Clean. No. Okay, Cass. It's a nice shot, but this is a much better situation now for trying to play freezes. There are a lot of those red rocks to draw to. Shot, uh, no, not quite shot lock, second shot lock. That one is at the end of the world, we can put on it here. Same way, uh, uh, 
Kennedy was very nervous before the game. This is a great uh, demonstration, though, of the Czech Republic's understanding that they need to get some rocks close to the ones at the back, that Canada has to be careful playing the hit. And those hit will get it through, but we can't hit it offline. So the jam leaves the Czech Republic line right? second shot. Yeah, she got an 11. Didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, I, I'm surprised that Jennifer is throwing that. I don't think she meant to throw that so quietly. Yeah. And there's no I reason to. Like, throw, oh. You can throw that rock hey, out. Jen. There's no reason to be cute on those kind of shots. Take the ice, throw it down there. If you roll out, big deal. Because it is also very predictable when you throw the weight up. It runs very straight, yep. so it's actually easier to ice those rocks if you play the up weight. Chance to lie too. Now would you play this with a little bit more controlled weight rather than just because you don't want to lose a shooter. You have an opportunity here, right? Yeah, just play your normal quiet <laughs> controllable <laughs> weight. You're right, There's no point uh, and you could play down to it and tap it back quietly if you wanted, but that brings a lot more ice into play, and I think it's a, it's a wide open takeout. Just play it uh, with your normal takeout weight. She needs to make a shot to give herself some confidence. She's had a tough time with that rock uh, hog line violation. are the front end. Nice and nice shot. brushing to lie to. Very nice. Good ice call, great brushing, good line call, a whole team effort. Good weight. It was. Yeah, I know. I just don't, I don't think it matters. That one, she did knows it and it still would. But I guess knows that's her best. Well, even if she jams it, I think this uh, is okay. But if we know this, she's got to catch it. Yeah, so. no. I don't think that was an 11. Yeah. Uh, There's no way. We moved, no, no, like... No, I agree. We did talk about whether or not it was down, but I don't think that... I thought it was a 10. Yeah. Then yeah. I would buy, but we moved all those rocks. There's no yeah, way I that agree. Was an 11. Then don't you, you have to be careful with Same the clock. Like I mean, you can get a wrong reading. She definitely threw that rock down. And uh, they got a higher, they got a higher reading on that. And uh, the person we were talking know. about, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely Whoa. think it was quiet. Whatever yeah. number it was, it was yeah. too quiet for the call. Yeah. So Whoa. they're just playing more normal weight on this. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. And it'll slip okay. out the back, and so the Czech Republic will have a chance here to pick up two. Is that nine and a half? Yeah, I thought it was good. No way, I don't think that should have rolled out. Maybe a little firm. Not enough that I... I'm sorry, guys. Then try the hook line. Push not try this. Gather yourself together here and concentrate and make yourself an extra point. She made a great hit, and this is a draw just into the eight foot. Well, she made a draw, a great draw to grab the uh, hammer in that first. Both teams uh, deciding a hammer by the draw to the button before they play. She put hers right on the lid. 
she did. She grabbed the hammer, and that's how the Czech Republic picked up their single point. The number looks good on my stopwatch, and they're just dusting it in. Very nice. Great end to generate the second point. So the Czech Republic taking advantage of the miss by Canada with Jennifer Jones first. It is 5-3, Canada leading. Just a reminder, we're all back with you uh, tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 Pacific, as Jennifer Jones in Canada play the German champions and former world champion Andrea Schaaf. And the Germans are currently on the ice and playing Switzerland. Switzerland down by one, and Miriam Ott from Davos has the hammer in the four. Italy scored one, you saw that. USA has the hammer in four. Japan scored two in the first, two in the third, lead Denmark, who have won their first two, 4-1. As we return to our featured game, the Canadians with the hammer here in five, leading by two, Canada playing the Redstone. Oh, a short guard, a nice come around to the top of the forefoot and uh, attempted come around by the Czech Republic. Comes up short. What's your situation? Line's perfect. Live look, Switzerland and Germany. Kathy, this is a draw for two. Is it possibly three for uh, Switzerland? Well, they've taken a lot of look at those stones on the right-hand side. For sure, it's for two. Andrea had a chance to get out of this by playing the draw down to the shot stone. They have struggled with line and with weight today. A great chance to move ahead on the board. Well, they're going to have a closer look now. That's one for sure. As you can see, the uh, German third, Monica Wagner, out, and uh, I would think they may put a, a measuring stick to some of these. We'll update you as soon as we know the score. Switzerland certainly looks like they have one to tie, maybe more to take the lead. Canada with the nice draws this end, keeping the rocks in front of the tee line. As Kathy said, sometimes across these sheets, we see opportunities that teams come a little deep and the freezes are allowed. Not so with Don Askenshaw, perfect placement, top four, top eight. Well, I tell you, Linda, the more I see that uh, Don play at, at that position, as she is as good as you want to watch. She gets very seldom does she make a mistake. What a tremendous addition to this team. She own, owns that uh, top eight foot, top 12 foot, top four foot when she needs oh, it, and uh, that's so important. No, it's not bad. Uh, no, it's lots, no, lots. For no. a front end curve, for a lead in particular, because no, they set no. the tone of the end, Higher the mode the of the end. Come down now. No, no, no. Gotta curl. No. It's gonna have to curl a bit. It's top oh, no, 12 it's foot. No, no, no. Okay, Jill. Okay. Takže když tam malé něco trefíme, to na kamen do zra nebude. To můžeme jít rovnou zde náš, to je v pohodě. No jo, ale že můžeme rovnou zra zde náš. Taky bych tam nezajížděla. <laughs> It's a little break for the Czech Republic. That rock sliding in as far as it did allows contact to be made on at least two of those ones in the house. Taky devět. Wow, what a game. Three, three enders. Switzerland scores three in that fourth. Lots of moving. Okay. Here. I think you have to. Here's pretty, yeah. Here's pretty good. Not buried, perfect. Bite the eight. Same way. Yep. Well, Canada would like to score, but. 
They don't need to score a bundle, so they're going to be careful with the rock placement now. There is a yellow one on the other side that can be moved up. That's why this one does not have to be buried. If something I'm happens on the other side, this little one heavy. can then be raised okay, onto it. Okay, should be it. fine. It's P line. Oh, no, oh, no, no, then. No. Oh, no, it's Back way heavy. Before. That's through. Jeez. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, it's coming down. Yep. Yeah. Gotta get it by. Whoa, bye, whoa, bye, it's by. Bye. But it's still at plus P line. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, that really is. Well, she threw it like she hooked it, so I'm like, just grab. <laughs> I grabbed, eh? How can it go it from like it <laughs> being yeah, through I a lot of to uh, it stomping at the back of the For a moment there, I, I thought it was going to hit the bumper. Was, yeah. Didn't you think it was going to hit no, the bumper? No, she they said. I know, I, I agree with you. I'm agreeing with you. They had it it's doing four different <laughs> things. Hitting the bumper, it's way wide. Okay. Now it's curling. Oh, it's grabbed something. Now, does that suggest that they, uh, the house, the house is, is changing a little bit? Or? I think it might have been a newer yeah, spot, Vic. We haven't played that side very much. Now that up, one up, 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 is losing its turn, so whether it had no turn or it actually did grab, yeah, yeah. Oh. we'll see what they get out of it. Back line. The United States and Italy as they play in the fourth and uh, Run back double for a bunch, it looks like, for the U.S. Is that right, Kath? Well, it is, but Diana Gaspari made a great shot on her first one. That's the yellow shot stone that you see, Vic. She was trying to throw a guard on her second one. It came deep, and that's allowed Deb McCormick a chance to get out of this end with a bundle. Yep. Allison Pottinger is holding the brush. Nicole Jordanstad. And Tracy Stocken. And the miss, and just a little rub on that U.S. stone. And it looks like the U.S. get the single to take the 2-1 lead. We uh, really wish our best to uh, lead Natalie Nicholson, who continues to suffer from the uh, flu. And a quite serious bout of the flu for the U.S., so we wish her well. Well, they need a big yeah, shot here. That's for sure. You could, you could play this one quietly, like she talked about. Onto that one, onto that uh, stone right there. And try and roll in a little bit. Roll into there. There is a possibility of, of playing the, uh, the run back on this stone here, running that straight back. I think if I was going to play that yellow one right there, I would play it very quietly yeah. because that's your saving stone. Nice and tight to the rings, you could just tap it up, leave the shooter in place, hope for a mistake and maybe make another play on that same rock that's left out in front on the next one. The only thing for Canada, Stay it away. is dead behind the Canada stone, so it's not very far to tap the red onto yellow, but wasn't a bad plan B for the Czech Republic. And uh, we've seen this so often. I mean, how many times do you go to the club and you play uh, maybe an older team in, in the club and thing, and all they can do is draw, and, they, and you keep you get so many rocks in play that sometimes. You know, yep. you make the shots for them, you know, with your own stones. Yep. Yep. 
That is why I say get a lead and then defend because you don't want to leave so many rocks in play. They can get something wiggled in there and cause you problems. One, two, three, four, five. Canada lying five with the hammer here in five. Sorry, Cass. All right. I was trying to hit it a little on the inside, not quite as much. Finish hard in here. I was trying to. But we got it all. If she makes this roll, we'll be. Do we have it all? Probably. Yeah. I don't know if she's drawing or hitting and trying to roll. It looks like she might be hitting and rolling. She first indicated that she might play the come around to come around here. But uh, it does now look a little bit uh, like she's playing the hit and roll, I guess. Trying to roll in. The guard is pretty high. You could you could play the quiet to come around. Maybe you can get a little rub off the top red one. There shouldn't be enough ice, I don't think. No, I don't think so either, Kathy. I'm going to throw lots of weight, I guess. Lots of rotation, lots of ice. Now the inside roll, nothing. You can see from the way uh, that Katarina throws, she actually slides a little bit narrow and puts the rock back. That's the motion she does on release, and that means that it's hard for us to judge the ice as far as whether or not it's the correct ice from what we think the ice should do. You'll see that she comes out, rocks well in front of her, but a little inside target, and now there's the push back out to target, and that means that it runs very straight. The break point's very late. And you see also her yeah. sliding leg comes across her body, and that forces really her to in the inside, and yeah, as Linda but says, and she puts it back out to the broom. That, uh, our rock would be in the way, I think. Sort of way throw? Ten. Do it. Yeah. Doesn't leave a lot. There is still that one guard, tight guard, they could raise up. There is the draw Ray showed us. As I pointed out before, there's a possibility that you, that you could play the draw around here. Somehow, you might even get a little tick off of that one, which would put the rock uh, in a little better position for you, maybe here, or you could play as, uh, as she's looking at what she's looking at, is coming down and playing this one here, back into this position here. And as I agree with Linda, if you're gonna play that, you should play it fairly quietly. Playing the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one that we didn't like from the get-go. <laughs> I know, but I'll have an in offer. I'll have a raise. Mm -hmm. I don't think I had a choice to learn, Jules. No. This is what I would have played on the Czech Republic's last rock rather than the hit roll. I think just uh, at this point, it's desperation time, and you have to try and play the quiet shots and get something in there into the position. Katarina Urbanova facing five. Canada does have the hammer. Big one! Well, I, just didn't, I don't know why they were sweeping, sweeping it. Uh, other than the fact that they may be trying to get through that. Yes, they thought the it hole. wasn't going to curl and play the race, so they went back to plan B, and it was not to be, and this is a big draw. Good out here, Jill. Yeah. Fully 
in. Can't hurt it. Final stone here in Not five. Good. Wait only. You just gotta watch the spot, Don. That's all. You're on the. You can't hurt it. Can't hurt it. Can't hurt it. So go. It's really curling. One, two, three, four, five, six for Canada here in the fifth. Is that, is that T line? Okay. Would it have been T line? Yeah. yeah. Good judge. Yeah, it didn't. The 2008 Ford World Women's Curling Championship on TSN is brought to you by Ford, powered by you. Ford World Women's Curling Championship on TSN is brought to you by Strauss Herb Company. Trust the tradition. By M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Tim Horton's new Slow Roast Beef Sandwich. Those are rain clouds here in the North Okanagan. We got a little bit of a sprinkle on our way into the multiplex. Canada scoring six in the fifth, leading 11-3. Here's Kathy. Jen, yesterday you played a team with a lot of experience. Today, rookies, what's the mental preparedness for your team to face the up and downs at the world? You know, we just wanted to come out here and just get more comfortable with the ice. And whether we're playing Switzerland, Sweden, Czechoslovakia, it doesn't really matter. And, you know, these girls are making every draw and hit and stick. And, you know, it's just a little bit of an experience, I think. Now, the risk, obviously, is having lots of rocks in play, but they're allowed to have rocks. What do you do? Oh, you know, we'll, uh, now that we're up a bundle, we'll, uh, we'll start peeling away and, you know, we're pretty good to defensive team, so we'll just, uh, try to keep it, uh, cle as clean as possible. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Kat. Let's check the numbers after five. They're brought to you by Tim Hortons. Proud to support Timbit's minor hockey, where the first goal is having fun. A couple of minor mistakes by Jennifer. That's how Czech Republic got a deuce, but you know what? The numbers show experience and confidence, and that has told the story in the first five of this game, Vic. Canada looking to win their uh, second in a row. Have to be happy. They're up 11-3 midway through. Welcome back to uh, Vernon. Let's go right to an update. Uh, Denmark and Japan playing the fifth. It is a team skipped by Angelina Jensen. It is Madeleine Dupont who throws the fourth stone from the Turnbu Curling Club in Turnbu. Denmark playing Japan and Moe Muguro. And that's the uh, two for Denmark. 4-3 Japan leading at the break. Denmark trying to go uh, to three and oh. If they can come back to win. Canada is up 11-3 over the Czech Republic as we go to the sixth and the Czech Republic playing the Yellowstones have the hammer. that score and wonder about Canada's approach but actually okay, this is yeah. not easy when you're in yeah, games yeah. like this as I mentioned before to keep your focus so it is actually a, a terrific tool for all four players to get in the hack and just focus on the shot 100% commitment to Mine's making perfect. the shot well the they, you know and a good comment by Jennifer and I think it's uh, uh, they are known as a very yeah. aggressive offensive team so Sorry, this is a, a nice time Sorry. to be able to okay. work on, okay, on that defense, which is, and, and they play defense well because yeah, they throw no, the up no, weight very well. It. It's just that they don't do it a lot. Let's take a look at some of the player numbers. They're brought to you by M&M &M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal hey, ideas, Dad. one aisle. Just a great example of Don Askin and her impact on this Canadian team. And yes, we talked about the inexperience of Czech Republic, but you're facing a lead playing 100%. And as we said, end after end rocks in front of the tee line, and that makes it so tough for a team to come back in a uh, game. But here you are, you're up 11-3. Uh, why aren't you pitching these into the parking lot if you're Canada? You could, Dick. You could do that. But Dawn was asked to put a rock at the top of the forefoot, and that's where she put it. And then she was asked to put her next one in front of it, and that's where she put it. She's still 100%. <laughs> And it may be, Vic, that what happens when you're ahead in a game like this, 
that you decide on a goal for that particular end. Often we see teams in a close game have to decide Ooh. about putting those first couple of rocks in play and where Wait, they put them and then how they defend. So it's not a bad idea to try out that plan, first two in and then peel. This is an interesting call because I would have peeled the corner guard in this situation. Yeah, right out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right out. Wait. Right out. Go, go, go. I would have ignored that stone and hit the corner guard. Okay. And, and the score just dictates that. Another update for you, Switzerland and Germany, and this is Andrea Schaaf as she plays her last in five, Kathy. Well, she had two choices, Vic. She could have drawn to lie two, but she's playing a thin double because in this crazy game of threes, there is a chance for another three if she makes it. And she will too, wow. So that is four threes on the board, seven, six, Germany going to the break. They don't have a great running game, but a very good kicking game. Lots of field goals. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, Jill. Throw. Feeling it? They are. Right off. No, no, never. Never, never, never. Okay, good. good it's a little it thin, so but it does the job, and Jill Officer has been doing the job very well in this game at 90%. But I did say of the players on the Czech Republic team, I was most impressed with the delivery of the second, and you're seeing her numbers indicating that. Body line, stone line, and rotation, in my opinion, are very good for this young player, and she has a lot of potential. She takes a very solid grip, too. She has a good grip on the handle, so she's able to release it with lots of rotation. Shaparikova. Example, as you watch it come down, you can see the rotation on the handle. As Linda points out, she's pretty square to the target all the time. She's fairly high, which gives her a good feel. That's a great shot. Ooh. And great result. Wow, right on the corner. Very nice shot. Got it all? Just throw eight and a half. If you get the front, nose is good. Firm. Whoa, boy. There's good brushing, Real ladies and gentlemen. Hard. Nice and tight to whoa, the stone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lots of action. Sorry, Kat. Good. That's a good throw. Missed it on the pro side. Get the corner guard off. Great freeze. But Nam <laughs> Go to the other side, is that what they're talking about? She was talking about actually freezing to the two in the house, Vic, and trying to then generate some more points, more than two, but you have to be so careful when you do that, you don't set up a double by just tapping things around. So they've gone back to the concept of spreading the rocks out. T-line is T-line. Nice throw. And we do see a spread now in the numbers at the third yeah. position. Kathy O has also a perfect game going. We just saw a miss in this end. This is up to this end, of course. Not even a bad miss because she cut the yard off. That's right. No. 
important to get rid of the one. Almost got the bonus. It's a good draw, nice and high Nine above and the other ten. one. Jennifer will try and hit the rock that is shot rock and roll in front of the other. Hit all your way, like right in front of you. Okay. <clears throat> Just a few little technical issues with Katarina, that foot crossing, the knee is under the chest and she doesn't release it very Just far. It? That means that release so. is a little bit uh, a little in out and that one caught that. her again. But I just think the pressure is the main thing that's happening to her out there. <laughs> and that reflects in how she is playing and it has been a huge struggle for Katarina. Solid numbers for Jennifer, not as high as yesterday, but Canada's really. approach though, you got you like that. I mean you both talked about keeping up and doing what they do best, and they've done that. Yeah, we said the plan would be get the early lead and defend, and that's exactly what they've done, Vic. Good team! Katarina Ranova will uh, face a two with her last one here in six. Watch yourself. Uh -huh. For the single here in six. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you for the game. Good and the Canadians will win their second in a row here at these 
Ford Women's World Curling Championships make the final 11 to 4 as they score that big six in the fifth. Two in a row for Jennifer Jones. Don Askin and the uh, Canadian team leaving the ice after an 11-4 win over the Czech Republic. Two straight. Time now for the player of the game brought to you by Ford, powered by you. A perfect game, a perfect setup to every end that led to a terrific game overall for Team Canada. Second game in a row for Don Askin with huge numbers, and she's doing the job this week, that's for sure. Let's quickly go to the game between Denmark and Japan as they play in the sixth, 4-3 Japan leading. And it is the uh, Japanese who have the uh, hammer here in this sixth, and it is uh, the Danes who are lying one, two, back button, back four. Final stone on the way from the Japanese skip Moet Moguro. Well, it's an open house, but we do know that these kind of pressure draws are not easy when you're facing a couple of opposition rocks in the forefoot. She has a little backing, but she just took ice to draw, and you have to be careful. They start to slide, and it's a lively house, as we know. And that one looks like it's going to slide right through. On through, so one and two for Denmark. Steal of two. They lead it. Five, four through six. Canada celebrating a 11-4 win over the Czech Republic. Let's take the uh, look at the game story. Brought to you by Kruger Products, proud sponsor of women's curling for 27 years. It was a great plan in the first five, capped off by that big six-ender and the key stat, while Don Askin at 100% setting up those ends. But I did say the Czech Republic have a lot of promise, in particular this second, who curled 88%. Next for Canada is Germany, Vic. And we will have that game for you tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's go to the USA and Italy. They're tied 2-2. Kathy? Well, in the last shot, Diana Gaspari tried to just throw a bumper weight shot to tap the U.S. stone out. That would have left her lying three, threw a little bit more weight than she wanted. It ran dead straight. And so instead of facing three, Deb McCormick now has a draw for two. Ted McCormick, the 2003 world champion. And that's for the, uh, the deuce. So the Americans, after losing their first, trying to bounce back with uh, a second straight win. Let's go over to the game now between Switzerland and Germany. Miriam Ott from Davos. Andrea Schaub from Garmisch Partenkirchen. This is Miriam Ott to a loss to the Canadians in her opener, Kathy. Well, on Andrea Schaub's last one, she was trying to corner free. She bounced off. This is a wide open shot as long as she can get to the nose bit. So one for sure. And now measuring, probably taking a look at those two stones on the right hand side. You see uh, Monica Wagner, the uh, third for the uh, the Germans. There's two, I would think. So this could be for another third point. We've already seen four. And so the Swiss get a uh, two. And they lead it 8-7 over Germany after six. You won't miss a thing. Jennifer Jones and the Canadian team off the ice quickly in six. 11-4, they beat the Czech Republic. Next up, Andrea Schopp, the former world champion. 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 Pacific this evening. We're in Vernon, B.C. Yes, unfortunately, for I know many of the parts of the country still suffering through winter, but uh, they, are, they were sailing this today on Lake Okanagan. We're in Vernon, the northern part of the Okanagan for this year's Ford Women's World Curling Championships. And we're going to turn our attention to this game between Switzerland and Germany after the Swiss scored two and six. And they lead 8-7 over Germany. Andrea Schopp, the German skip, putting the brush down. She has the hammer here in seven, playing the yellow stove. 
Well, you can tell by the scoreboard the defense hasn't been in play very much in this game. There has been a great deal of offense, some yeah. nice shots, but some big mistakes to close yeah. out the end. That's how the scoring has occurred. First rock in, corner guard up, center guard comes back. Here's the come around. Yeah, 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 come on. Come, let's go, get. Come, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And good brush to get it there for a shot stone. Nice shot. Well, this is, as Linda already mentioned, this has just been nothing but offense. And uh, Andre, of course, we know uh, as a world champion, has been here. This is their, what, their 15th time 15th here. Time. Yeah, 15th yep. time. I think he was here before me. <laughs> Her first event was actually the one I played in. Oh, not Achbus! Well, then it is a long it's time a ago. It's a long time ago. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was that far back. That's right. Leave it up on, huh? Here's the kind of mistake we're talking about. That rock could be anywhere top house. It's usable. Trying to close down the forefoot, freezing to its grape, but top eight's okay, and it slides too deep. Now, the Germans have made a lineup change uh, for this game. They have uh, dropped Anna Hartelt from second, and it's Melanie Robillard from Ottawa who is throwing the uh, second stones. Kathy? Well, for Melanie, she qualifies because her mother was born in Germany. She has a German passport, and that is enough to qualify for this team. They just changed, did not, Dick? They just changed the beginning of the game, of this game? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And yeah. she played a junior with a Don Askin in the uh, nation's capital region. Ooh, you've done your research. No, I'm just getting help. Don't but turn on. Much. Don't turn honest at this stage <laughs> in your career. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> don't throw me off. I really don't know where, what she was trying to do there, Linda. It could come through that hole, I think, and maybe tap the uh, Yellowstone back a bit. But I think so. But, uh, it was all over the guard. And it does open up the back stone now. It's for Valeria Spalti. Nicht zu schnell, Melanie, ja, nur normal. Just normal weight hit. You could play a quiet shot into there, but she's going to try and hit and roll. Down the center line, it does run very straight with the up weight. I guess that was a little faster than Andrea wanted. And it, it's just an example of when you play the quieter way to have a much better chance of bringing the brushers into the equation and keeping the shooter somewhere in the house. Trying to get a little rub on the yellow. It was good communication that the rock was light. Okay. And tried to close down the hole a bit. Not much else they could do with that one. Well, the last shot that uh, Andrea called was confusing to me. She was the rocks were in behind the T line. She could have definitely made a, a play for 
they certainly know how to score points. There's a whole bunch of points <laughs> on the board. But by playing the big way hit on the back one was just didn't make any sense. You come around, but she has a chance to do it now. To come around. Mark has been with her a long, long time. 12th appearance of the world for Monica Wagner. So that one gets caught too, just a little light. Got a pretty nice line, but just uh, underthrown. She's going to get herself into uh, trouble here. Via? Two stöder. Ja, probier. Miriam thinks there's room to come through, to come through here. Get right into that area right there. Carmen Schaffer. Nice mechanics for this young lady. Stays fairly high. Good soft release. Certainly oh, enough rotation. Oh. Running a little straighter oh. than they thought. Oh. Oh. The wave looked all right, Linda. It just didn't curl for her. But I think it may be the throws that are causing some problems because Carmen does throw much differently than Monica. You see very different paths that those rocks take. There's an angle raise on the other side. The raise, the raise is right, o right over here on that one. That's possible. Raise that one. Calling a timeout. There's a raise on the center one too. I think I'm not sure if it's overlapped, but I don't think it is. Maybe. This is the one I was talking about over here. You can Im Prinzip muss ich erst mal auf den draufhacken. Ich komme ja nirgendwo mehr ins Haus mehr. Dann habe ich da zumindest zwei Gelbe, mit denen ich irgendwas anfangen kann. Und wie soll ich die wegspülen? Das ist den ist. Ja, den muss ich mir für den Schluss aufheben. Geht auf den Weg, dann liegst du einmal, vielleicht kannst du einen Roll machen drüber. Wäre ja aber nicht Shot. Weil wenn ich da versuche aufzumachen, drücke ich beide Roten wieder hierher. Dann spüle ich mir von da dahinter, komme ich überhaupt nicht weiter. Ich spüre mal da drauf. Ja, okay. <laughs> den machen wir eh nicht. Andrea's also. brother Reiner has been her a long time coach. Well, I think I'd uh, play the hit on the one that is the yellow-red situation, and I would try and roll the shooter a little bit so you have two yellows that the other team cannot protect. I don't think I'd be playing the raise in yet. I, I, part of the reason I'm saying this is, and Ray has brought this topic up, Andrea is fairly emotional right now. Mama, She's not yeah. getting the shots out of her front end. Earlier in the game, she did have a little chat with the team about <laughs> some misses, and she's had it again, and you can see on her face she is not happy, and I would leave her a relatively easy shot in this situation. I'd open up this side. Spins a little uh, too far. Switzerland still lies one. Center line, back of the eight without the hammer. But Linda's right, it does open up that side a little bit because uh, Mary Mott is going to play the hit and roll now. I saw her indicate that she wanted to, to come, come down, hit this one here, and then just try and get a little roll. 
over into this this area here. That will open up the side. And the raise on the other side is always there as well. She got away with the uh, not jamming it at the back. It was a good call, Vic. Carmen got it by that back one. A good call by Carmen, for sure. But this side is now wide open. Let's update Denmark, Japan, as they play in the seventh. Kathy. Well, on Madeleine Dupont's final stone, she is the woman that throws the four stone for Denmark. She tried the wide out, or rather intern, to freeze to the Japanese stone ticked it was not shot but she did take away second third and fourth so instead of a bundle it is a draw to the four foot for two to uh, regain the lead for the Japanese and they do through seven Andrea Shaw down on top to uh, lie shot stone she would have liked that in front of the tee line though just a little bit heavy the United States and Italy 4 to the US leading this is in the seventh final stone for the Italians Diana Gaspari from Cortina D'Ampezzo as she plays Debbie McCormick from Madison Wisconsin Angle it back. Sorry, Kathy. Uh, that is for one. Is that for the deuce? Is the outside biter? You may have to measure that one, Vic. They're having a long look at it. What a turnaround that would be. We'll uh, update as soon as we know. Team one one for sure. Miriam Ott. Yeah! Well, Linda mentioned oh, that uh, oh, Andrea's shot uh, came too deep. She had a chance to get to the top of the forefoot and buried. This allows uh, Marion Ott a chance to come down and take uh, the shot rock away from her. I think there's enough movement on this ice that she may be able to play this with maybe quiet tap back wake score two. So the stone is in, so it's two for the Italians to tie it. will have the hammer in eight. Andrea's taking a long time to look at this. She was pointing out the options a moment ago. There, there is the draw tap possibility. Draw and the brushes can uh, possibly take it for the little tap. She even pointed at the angle run back. I would not be playing that in this situation. Uh, I think she's decided just to draw them. Yeah, full on top, hinter der T-Line auf dem Kopf. Muss halt knapp an der Guard kommen vorbei. You do have to be a little careful in this spot because the draws do finish light. So if you throw it to the tap back position all on your own, you may not get the curl you need. I 
guess she was inside, Vic. One and light. It is one, it is for the Swiss, a steal. They now take a 9-7 lead. Just a reminder, the NHL on TSN continues Monday. Sidney Crosby, the Penguins, are in New York to meet the Islanders. 7 p.m. Eastern, available in TSN HD. There's that sailboat I was telling you. They were sailing on Lake Okanagan today. I do welcome you. Am Pardon? I allowed to say it? Oh, no, I'll say it for you. Okay. It's beautiful, no, BC. You. <laughs> <laughs> 9 7 as we go to the 8th in Germany. Andrea Schopp has the hammer playing in this eight. Yellowstones. Both of you will be with the ah. Chamber of Commerce. I can see that in the future. Yeah. You'll be moving out here, Vic. I'll be buying your little house on Lake Kuchiching. Yes. Very nice. Oh, 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 no langi. Oh, oh. Return to my roots. It was Good a little uh, listening to some uh, Aurelia radio this morning, and uh, minus 17 was the forecast for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so the roots are frozen. Yeah, that was the forecast. Well, we talk about things that happen in games, momentum, feeling control. At the moment, Switzerland has control of this game, and it's a little bit to do with the mental side of the game. Andrea yeah. is clearly puzzled and upset in this yeah. game with her players and with herself. Let's face it, she Let's missed in the last in. end. There's a nice shot. Marie Teresa Rotter throwing the lead stones. Melanie Robillard. We have seen from the updates and the score at this point in the game that there have been a lot of rocks in play, and yeah. Andrea knows how to score. She's putting up the corner guards. The one in play at the moment right there is very long, so she's trying to get a slightly tighter one. Team Peels. Butter. Oh. Butter. And. I said to you during the break, Linda, that, you know, Andrea angry at her front end, angry at herself. Uh, You'd think with all that experience, you'd be able to handle a little bit better, maybe park it, as we like to say. It's always been kind of her nature. I think she's very passionate, as Linda mentions, mentions and uh, she she loves this game. She's obviously been yeah. playing a long time. She's a world champion, and, and uh, it's her personality. She's hard on herself. She's hard on her teammates. And that's been common knowledge for a long time. She does need to recover, though. She does need to get over the issues that have happened and try and focus on the next shots. I like this call, Vic, and that's the thing you look for in a player that's struggling. How are they thinking? Because clear thinking seems to go when you have a bit of a loss of emotional control and things are upsetting you. It's a good call because they're going to peel. What she was trying to do is tuck around the very long guard and perhaps get a miss by Switzerland hitting that long one instead of the tight one. Done. 
So if you can bury behind the long one, then the guard is not visible, the tight guard is not visible, the front one would be peeled off, and now you've got something more to work with, something that if you bury behind it, the opposition can't just come around and tap it out. Same shot, you want it short. Okay. Oh, good. So here's the plan working. Switzerland going up to peel the very long guard. Now the come around, you can get into the 12 foot and be fully buried. We saw the guard go up and lots of swing to the edges. Nice coming around by Monica. <laughs> nice shot in front of the T line. <laughs> How much can we see? I think half was the indication. The friend and we're showing her what was visible from the other end. But it looks like they're going to play the run back. Running it back. They are Vic. Yeah, you can't see very much of that, can you? So the run back is the percentage. And in Swiss German, that would be a run back. Just trying to help out. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yes. Lovely shot. Oh, I got it. As the Swiss would say, that would be tip top. That would be what? Tip top. It's so an expression they use. Uh, good shot. Tip top. Yep. Yeah. Tip top. Well called. Great ice call because we weren't really sure. We'd just come to this sheet, but she knew. Miriam knew exactly where to put the broom. Lots of swing from the inside to the outside with draw weight. Nice and straight with the up weight on the hit. Andrea threw her uh, last rock. Uh, pretty light so you see how she does with this draw she's trying to tuck it behind oh, the rock no that's just outside the ring no lots of room that's a pretty good shot it just didn't finish like they thought it might curl a few more inches very nice shot though Once again, how much can we see? So, what? Looks like she's playing it quietly. Looking for another tip-top shot. Another tip-top. Hawk. 
Italien ballert. Fifi langsam. Komm, es ist Fifi, das langt. Es Fifi. Nein, nicht viel mehr. Nice touch. That's a beautiful shot by Miriam Ott. It's a good call, too. On the first one, she had to play the big weight run back. She came back with the quiet shot, took lots of ice, and let the brushers do the job. Huh? Did you hear? What did she say, She Victor? said that's tipped up. Oh, I guess yeah. I missed it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I hear that a lot from my relatives as I'm getting on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> going home. Yeah, going home. <laughs> <laughs> That's tip top. <laughs> Final stone Final here stone. in eight. Oh, she wanted to roll out, but she's stuck. Germany gets the single. Switzerland still has the lead, and they'll have the hammer when we come back. from King Japan. You are watching Championship Curling on TSN. And Moe, thank you very much for doing that for us. Let's update Denmark, Japan. Uh, Kathy, as they play in the eight. Well, she's trying to play an in-off very hard, Vic. If she can hit it really thin, there's a potential for a number of stones. She made a great angle raise on her first one to get herself into a position to make this shot. Yep, yep, yep. Needs it really thin. No, and it turns out to be a steal of one. The yellow stone around the edge of the, uh, the button. That's a Japanese stone, 7-5. Now let's go to USA and Italy. You see the yellow stone top four. That belongs to the Italians. But boy, the USA has a chance here to maybe put a lock on this. She sure does. Just needs to hit it on the inside. She has to play outside in, Vic, because there is a center guard. But this end could turn around with a four here if she's able to hit this on the nose. Yeah, she has a chance to uh, possibly get a five spot here. She can remove that stone and just wouldn't curl up for her. So it's just that single, that red stone, five, four, the U.S. leading as they go to the nine. Here in Vernon. As we return to Switzerland, Germany. And Switzerland leading 9-8. And the Swiss have the hammer playing the red stones. Well, that was a big shot for Debbie McCormick because uh, she took a lot of ice. I, I, I thought she might just take the edge of the rock and throw it with pretty big weight. She couldn't do anything wrong, really. Uh, you know, she made any contact on the nose or the inside of it. But she just chose to play it kind of quietly. And uh, it just hung out there. What a huge shot, because it was a it was four for sure and a possible five. Kathy? Well, and the one thing, Vic, that I've, uh, and, and Ray, that I've noticed about Debbie this year is just how tentative she is. Normally, as you say, she would have put the broom down beside the edge of the rock and thrown Whoa. at it. And even if you roll out, you get a bundle. Whoa. Very back, slow back, back, to make the calls, very tentative. And that sort of dictated the outcome. Has not been as strong as we'd expect. Yeah, no, you expect uh, Debbie is... Uh, She's uh, a world champion as well, of course, having won in Winnipeg. And uh, that was, uh, that obviously is an indicated indication, Kathy, as you say, that she's just a little yeah, unsure of herself. Because that was not a hard shot. That was an easy shot to take uh, three or four inches of ice and keep your weight up. Hit it on the nose. You know they'd run straight with weight. This end, the first rock of the end actually by Germany came into the ring, so was wanted as a card. There was an exchange of hits, but now we do have two out in front and one in behind belonging to Germany. 
And Switzerland's just peeling off that front rock. So a nice recovery by Germany after the mistake on the first rock to get one out in front and one in behind it. And now they'll protect. Andrea brought that quite close. It does allow, allow a run back. Ovac. For Valerie Spalti. Yeah, double Bolsa. peel here would be perfect. Ovac. Oh. There you go. I was surprised. How's that? that? Yeah, Germany brought that tight, and that left tons of options for Switzerland. Double peel, run back, and she got the combo. You got the double peel and the run back. Yeah, that was a great result. If you were with us yesterday for Canada's opening win against the Swiss, the uh, Miriam Ott has a uh, two-time silver medalist in the Olympics. One with Lucia Ebnother, one on her own, and then, of course, as you pointed out, Linda, she beat her former teammate to get here. And the one strange thing about Miriam Ott, she's a great player. She's very successful in bonds fields, both in Canada and Europe but she has not had a good record in her two previous appearances at the Worlds. And yesterday playing Canada, she did look like she was lacking a little confidence in the throws, not coming out quite as confident and determined with those releases. Kind of the Kevin Martin pattern. Kevin, of course, who's uh, our country's number one team, and Kevin's been a great success in the cash bill, better than anyone, and probably the best team in the world. And Yet to get that world championship that he's maybe this year as he moves yeah. on to Grand Forks oh, in a couple yeah. of weeks. Fish. Fish. fish, 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 fish. Almost snuck that red one in, Linda. <laughs> they, tick, tick. they were ticking everything on that one side of the sheet. Nick oh, the, the mail. Oh. goal for Andrea is to try to force the single. I'm not really sure it's a steal because of the way this end has progressed. You've got to be careful. If you go for the steal, uh, throw it up in front. I, I agree with you, Linda. I'd be going in behind one of those those uh, corner guards. If you put it up in front, it, it's a two-on-one situation. You might find that uh, Miriam will take her chances and try and score a deuce. She's a wily veteran. Go for the two points here. I 
I think so. Well, I she's giving you the chance, is she not? No. So. I, it's two and one. I, I love so. these. I mean, you're, you're one up. You can close it out here. This is a great opportunity. There's just no question for S Switzerland. You take this, come around here, in that the area there, try and uh, tr put the stone right there behind this guard that was just thrown. And you've got a great opportunity of scoring too. I, I like the call by Miriam for sure. The difference would be if there were only the one guard out in front, you might contemplate peeling it and trying to take the hammer to the final end. But in this case, if you happen to peel the center guard, there are corner guards for Germany to use. So this is absolutely a great call, but it must be in front of the T-line. Back. Back. Oh, oh. Can't be strong. All the way, they want to take this as far as they can now. That's a lovely shot. The key, as Linda says, is to keep it in front of the tee line. You had to, you know, if you'd like, you'd like to have maybe been uh, back a few more inches into the top of the forefoot, but it's a lovely shot. You're not going to fool her, boy. Or the, uh, the finish again is very late, Linda. Am I right in that? Absolutely, Vic. As the rock is slowing, you get the curl. It was a good line call brushing. It could have been taken a little bit further, but they wanted to make sure that it stayed in front of the tee line. Actually comes out the other side, just a hair. This is the uh, final stone for Andrea Schaff in Germany. She'll get the late movement. She needs the perfect weight to try oh. and tuck it to the back of the forefoot. Get it a little bit covered. Well, we just had to sweep it earlier. But it was staying out. But go back to Andrea's first one, which was the center guard. And how different it may have been, Ray, is as you suggest, she tried to bury it behind that, those three corners. Yeah, go behind the corner, keep it in front of the T-line, and then it, it becomes a tough deuce for uh, Mary Mott. But it's interesting, Vic, how you approach the end, because it looked like Andrea approached the whole end to steal. However, Switzerland made a great shot. At that point, they would have switched to the force. So a chance for a two here for Switzerland in nine. Take a three-point lead. Oh, back! Oh! Yo. Now it needs to sit. And sit. And it will hang on to the edge. It's the deuce for Switzerland. They're up 11-8. Yo. Well, Swiss, Swiss fans here, obviously happy with the score. Sports Center, next edition coming right up. Lots to talk about, of course. Final few games, final week of the NHL season coming up. An update on golf as well and March Madness. Let's update Denver. Denver. <laughs> March Madness. Uh, Denmark and Japan, Kathy. Well, one of the things... No <laughs> laughing. That she, sorry. Okay, so what she's playing here is a down to three. On her first one, she made a great freeze, but Moe from Japan made two great pick shots of frozen stones, and that's why she's facing three. Got to hold on. Don't spin too far, and that is the single for the uh, Denmark Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, let's go now, USA, Italy, as they play in the ninth. 
Well, some good shots by Deb McCormack to get some of that confidence back in this end. She made a great draw on her first and yeah. scoots through the hole to be shot on the yeah. second one. That yellow stone yeah. that you see was Diana Gaspari's first draw attempt to be shot. It's now the stone that she's planning to promote to try to get shot. U.S. leading 5-4. Hammer it back, move it far enough. No, not quite. It looks like it's one red at the back. And it is 6-4, the U.S. leading after nine. But that was a good shot. That was a tough shot. That she was an excellent shot. She actually threw big weight, but as long as you had the angle, it was yeah. fine, and the angle was very good. Hey. That curls another half inch. She's going to score. And has made some big shots in that game. We've been keeping our little eye on it, and the U.S. should be a, as far as... <coughs> opportunities hey, go pussy. way ahead in the game as Switzerland is in this game but not so on the other sheet Switzerland leading by 3-11-8 oh. and yeah. Germany oh, oh. they do have the hammer here in this uh, tent playing the yellow stone Melanie Robillard. To set up a three, you need some breaks. You need some misses by the opponent when they're trying to peel off your guards, but you definitely don't want rocks in the house. It comes in a little bit too far. And if you think threes are difficult to come by, not in this game. Look at them all, early. And in fact, uh, Miriam Ott, the Swiss skip, said to her team, you know, we've got to concentrate here, realizing that three wasn't and hasn't yeah. been too difficult yeah. to get. The big difference oh, oh. is Switzerland is definitely on the defense, Vic. Yes, earlier in the game, there was tons of rocks in play, and you're absolutely right. There was enough mistakes and great shots to generate the extra points. But you have a very determined Swiss team with a very clear plan now. Want to go play in Wagner or play the uh, freeze to the face of the stone? Switzerland just as soon have rolled that one out, but it stayed in the ring so it can be used. And here's the freeze attempt. Jennifer Jones and the Canadian team uh, romped against the Czech Republic. 11-4 the final. They got a six in five. Also got that steal of two and three. And so next up it will be Andrea Schopp. The uh, we're former world champion will have it for you at 11 p.m. Eastern time this oh. evening, 8 p.m. Pacific. Back. Canada, Germany, that's up oh. next. This is a golden opportunity now. He can oh, angle freeze one on that. And you got a guard on the other side. If it was a little more uh, well hidden, would you go behind the other corner? Y you'll go behind that corner eventually anyway, and maybe even get two behind there, Vic. All right. But you don't do it now. Well, she's going to freeze right in the face of this one. a little bit short on the oh. first attempt. The line yeah, seemed yeah. perfect. Not quite. Overcurl just a little bit. Yeah. Swiss are still shot. And the brushers had to communicate a little better with Andre and, and to tell her that it was uh, it was you know the perfect way to a little bit on the light Straight side. Because it just curled too much. Time out.
as in Canada in our championships, the uh, teams get 73 minutes and two one-minute timeouts. The only difference is at the world level, only the team that calls the timeout can access their coach. And so that uh, brings Mark Brugger to the ice surface. True. Yeah, but when they're when they're not half, it's because they're too small and they're too big. 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 they are well, I think they're talking about splitting the house fix. So when they make contact, the yellow one to red, the deuce is set up, Teasing but then you up. can hit something out. Right. So they're talking at the moment, rather than peeling a guard, you can't make a play on the yellow to get rid of it at the moment. You get rid of your own. Yeah, you so they're talking about splitting the house. The exactly. This is a game made for heaven for you two. You've got the Swiss playing Germany. And <laughs> we, we should be very clear on everything. Denver playing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tap the other one back. And you can actually lie too. Uh, that maybe just overbrushed. Well, Amanda. I don't think it was though. I think that's just a little bit of stress. That slid most of the way by itself. Poor front end, Ray. Player of the game today. Mm -hmm. Don Askin. Lee. Perfect game for Canada. 100 percent. Den sieht man schon drei Viertel, oder? Yeah. Call me normal. A little bit of a chance here, Linda, for Andrea. She can make a really good shot. Well, she's playing a full weight hit from what I understood. Really? Well, she can come off of that and roll over in front of the other two. I think that's the plan. Yeah. That's a very nice shot. July 2, and uh, Germany does have the hammer. Are they lying too, Vic, or are they? I think so. Yeah. Or be you, absolutely right. Great, great shot by Andrea Schaub. It's not so stark, huh? It's fifi. A good call and a lovely shot. And we're not einfach like. Darf einfach nicht da. Ja, nein, wir haben ja dort noch eine. Nein, komm es fünf. Playing with a little more weight, Linda. Is that what she said? 
Well, she's tapping it back. The interesting thing when you think about how these ends progress, mm -hmm. we talked about the potential of peeling the corner versus coming around. And unfortunately for Switzerland, Germany just made a good shot, but Switzerland brought that draw deep. That's when you look back and you think, well, I guess I could have peeled, but the draw could not go deep. So it's a little hard to look at hindsight now when the shot on the first Swiss skip stone was not made. Final stone for Switzerland, Miriam Ott. and Griner on the brush. Schaffer calling line. Got to get it by the guard. By the guard, and they do not. Oh, goodness. And when you thought three wasn't possible. I see this cross. Well, you have to give Henry Shop a lot of credit. She played a, made a great shot that last one. Nice. Nice two out of three good. Right. Monica. Huh? Now it's always interesting with choices. Switzerland decided to play the tap instead of the draw, and must have been inside from the beginning. They called the brushing on immediately. I guess it's just deciding what turn to play here, and she's going to play the wide in turn. A draw for three would be the fifth three in the, in the game. Mm -hmm. Andrea Shop, 63% on her draws. I'm the right for guy. There's two knees here. Talk about teams having to recover if this draw is made. It's Switzerland that will have to recover and try and play a good extra end. A draw for three. Yeah. yeah. Robiar and Rotter. Full yeah, yeah, yeah. eight. Shot, two lovely shots by the German skip. We are all even at 11. Switzerland will have the hammer in the extra. 2008 Ford World Women's Curling Championship on TSN is brought to you by Tim Horton's new slow roast beef sandwich. By m and Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Kruger Products. Proud sponsor of women's curling for over 27 years. Let's update Denmark and Japan. Now you got me thinking, Kathy. Well, you saw the situation. It was a, a rock that went a little bit too deep, obviously, for the Danish team. They would have liked to have forced the Japanese to tap the stone back. They are shot. They are buried. But it is certainly a stone that Japan can draw down to for the point and the victory. Moe Magoro. Angelina Jensen. Nice stone by the... Japanese skip to go to two and one. Denmark is also two and one. Eight six the final. Now to the game between the USA and Italy and a chance here for the Italians and Diana Gaspari from Cortina d'Ampezzo to tie. Well, she's got the hit. Deb McCormick on her last stone, played the hit on the shot stone, but she also played and called the roll to the wings a little bit. It's been a tricky spot in this pack to stick. Boy, she feathered the guard and can hold the shooter, so just one for the Italians and the U.S. And Debbie McCormick will escape with a 6-5 win. So they're now 2-1. and one. The Italians are 0-3. As we yeah. welcome you back to the multiplex here in Vernon and uh, the Swiss, Switzerland and Germany are going to an extra yeah. Yeah. tied 11 all and Switzerland 
has the hammer here in this extra playing the red stone. Well, to start the 10th end, I said I really didn't know if Germany could get that extra point, that okay. third point. We know two isn't too tough because you can get up the corner, but it was two misses by Miriam Ott that left the three, plus great shots by, of course, Andrea Schaaf, yeah, but that's have, what turned the end around. You're right. You do. But you've got to give the German skip a lot of credit. She made two great shots. Well, one was just a draw, but her first one was fabulous. It was there all the way, and she saw it. Two center guards, the first rock by Switzerland was a tick attempt that did not get made. That come around a little deep. Now these teams are going to require a little extra concentration as well because of the tight nature of time. And our next game in less than an hour, the ice makers are already out and preparing the sheets for this evening's draw. And of course, we'll have Germany and Canada for you at 11 p.m. Eastern time. Kathy? Well, and obviously that's not the circumstances that they would like to have at a world championship, but they've discussed it. And one of the biggest concerns, of course, is always providing that consistency to curlers. And unless they start now, we're less than 30 minutes away from when the teams will practice. And at the risk of jeopardizing the other three sheets, they want to make sure they're ready and they'll finish this one off last, obviously. Yeah, they really don't have any choice at all, and they have to do what they're doing, and they'll try to, you know, not to, certainly not to disturb the other game, but they have to get out the ice surface, because we're... And, of course, Germany still on the ice. will play Canada tonight in that draw we'll have for you at 11 Eastern time, and uh, the Canadians likely went back to the hotel after uh, oh. getting off the oh, ice in six, beating the Czech back. Republic. Tried the double peel, didn't make it. And if you think about the Canada-Germany game, just thinking ahead for a moment, a lot will be based on how Germany does in this extra end. A tight turnaround will be tough. It will be tougher if they can't steal away the victory. If you could peel the guard. Part of the reason this is being called, I think, is that Miriam does not want to get to a position where there are a couple of stones in the top of the forefoot that she has to play against. And based on the last end is the reason why I'm thinking that. Valeria Spolte. This is a pretty nice opportunity, though, for Monica Wagner to uh, freeze one in there. You could cover the pin, and that long guard is still there. I realize that two German stones are now gone after a good shot, but look at the situation. You could freeze one right on that one on the spot. You make a good shot here. And it was Monica's freeze in the last end that generated the extra point. It was. Confess! 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 Confess!
Was, was geht, was geht, was geht? Nur ein Stück, nur ein Stück, nur ein Stück. Nur ein bisschen. Kommt, Beste geht nur ein bisschen. Kommt, Beste, es geht weiter, 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 weiter. Okay, gut so. That's a good shot. No question about it. I'm peeling this one here anyway. There she goes. We talk about the timing of shots. That was a nice peel by Switzerland. I might play a guard on this one. I think it's a little early to be coming in. Yeah, I agree, Linda. I would play it on the center line as well. She's coming right into the pocket, I guess. Short doesn't hurt you. It's a funny thing, I'm just listening. Maybe it's just this team, but I, I noticed just in watching the games in the last two days, they don't seem to be communicate as well, the front ends. We're not hearing as much information no. from them, Vic, you're right. If you hit the top rock on the outside, you can get, you can get everything going here. Okay, if you hit this stone right here, mm -hmm. a little That's bit on the outside, <coughs> Down in there, you'll get this rock right here, moving that way. This will go that way. This will come. This one will come off here on that one. At least you'll get this forefoot, the forefoot open. And based on the peels that Carmen has thrown, she can play nice straight lines and good up weight. This needs good up weight, but if you hit it on the outside, you'll get that forefoot opened up. Faulty picked it up right away. Oh, oh. And she got inside. Oh, she was inside. She had to hit it on the outside. Spin the rocks off the button. Weil ich darf im Prinzip nur so spielen, dass ich ihn bis hierher schiebe, weiter nicht. Genau. Aber ich darf auch nicht angehen vorne an dem. She only has to move it a couple of inches. The redstone is shot, I do believe. Ich komme nur hinten vier bis acht. Ja, ja. That was an opportunity for Switzerland to get those rocks. They may have not have all gone out of the house or anything, Victor, but they would have got them away from that forefoot. And as Linda just mentioned, she just th maybe threw it inside a bit. She had the nice weight, Linda. In the last end in 10, Carmen missed appeal by being a little wide. I wonder if she was thinking about that. I think she must have gotten the one in this end a bit started. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. First of the uh, skip stones, Andrea Schott. Confess, Alex! Confess! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. She just wants to touch it a little. Wow. Looking to steal the win. Switzerland has the hammer. Clemé. Once again, if she can catch us on the outside. All three of those yellows can be moving. You drive it in. That red rock is a godsend. It certainly is. 
It was one of those where Andrea could have maybe played it either quieter or maybe even waited for one top house because this is a great chance to move those yellows out. And maybe block this run, this run back to the first one. She get this one started too. Angle it back into the pocket. Get him moving. She does not. Now you're in trouble. Yeah. They, they had two golden opportunities. Two golden opportunities to get those rocks moved off the forefoot. Anywhere on the outside with both of those shots. Thank you, Mar. Nose hit would prevent the tap. What? I'm talking about the nose hit. Which would sit you right da geht gar there. Also ich hab <lacht> die zwei Optionen habe ich, ich weiß. Weil wenn der Guard halt Probleme ist, wenn mir die wegläuft irgendwie, hat sie immer, weißt du, wenn, wenn er mir auf die Seite wegläuft, hat sie den da. Wenn er mir auf die Seite wegläuft, kann sie ihn so nachschieben. It won't be long before the uh, Canadian team will be back on the ice. Jennifer Jones and her team arriving here at the multiplex. They'll be playing the Germans who are still on the ice. We'll have that for you 11 p.m. Eastern time, less than an hour now, 8 p.m. Pacific. She's playing the nose hit. She could play it a number of ways. She could play it quietly. She could play it. Uh, you don't want to disturb the frozen situation in any in any way. At this point, the only issue with playing this nose hit is that if there's any way that Miriam can use the rock you then leave in the house to move on to the other two yellows, because right now there isn't much for Switzerland. So in effect, do you want to hit and roll away if you could? If you roll away Concept! to the one side, Vic, you open up the button. Can she get them all moving now? This, uh, if she angles this yellow in, yeah, she can. Time out. I think so. That was Time the problem out. with playing the hit rather than the guard, yeah. Vic. Yeah. She obviously sees this. If she hits this rock, a touch on the outside, onto this one here, that will go that way. This obviously will go back. This one here. This rock here will come off and roll this way. And this rock may be the factor. What we've seen in the last two throws for Switzerland is the pressure showing because they got a little inside. That's usually a sign of tension, trying to aim the rock instead of just throwing the weight at the broom. some weight on this final stone in a 11 
11 game extra and Switzerland has a chance if they can get everything moving Reiner and Spalti angle it back and move them all for the win Switzerland a Swiss miss picks up the single great shot she finally hit the broom Linda wow 12 11 the final Switzerland is now one and one as is Germany so through four draws the Canadians sitting top of the table along with the surprising Chinese on through the Italians who are on the bottom still looking for their first win zero and three back with you in less than an hour 11 p.m. Eastern Time 8 Pacific Jennifer Jones will play Andrea Shop. stay with us Sports Center is coming right up the Canadians win 11 4 over the Czech Republic here at the Ford World Women's Curling Championships on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN. <laughs>